to die video. Alright, last time we were here, me and Heavy had chosen the town we're in to set up in. See, we got some walls going in here. This is our little kitchen area going in over here. This is our forge, cooking, some storage. And it seems I'm hungry and our fridge is empty. So, I think today we're going to do some material gathering, try to get our food up. Died a few times getting this done here, so health is definitely low. All right. Give me just a moment. My life shut down on my on my laptop, so I'm just trying to start it back up. We can enjoy the view out the window while we wait. Nice view of this mountainside, which we will uh, we will be drilling into. There's water on the other side of them, their hills, and we need to get to them. There we go. All right, all is right with the world. Here, right, here we go. Take a look outside. Everything seems fine. We got a little damage from the horde. Well, we have uh, some food. Uh, I think I'll eat this now. There we go. All right. Sorry about that. Just so everyone knows, I am a dad. So I have to kind of pause and stuff here and there, take care of my children, they come first. Alright. Oh yeah, they broke our hatch last night. I love these little hatch setups. I saw this in a video a while back, and they work absolutely amazing. There. Alright. What do we got for tools on us? A little pick, a little shovel. That'll be enough to get us some... There we go. Little 360 zombie check in action going on there. All looks good. Yeah, I feel like I'm leading this dance. Oh, I missed one there. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to get skills on our Miner 69er. Because that took forever. Yeah, I got to get some mining in. And we're out of stamina, so we wait or we take a drink. There we go.
No. This red iron will come in handy. Stones. We'll have to... I don't think I'm going to upgrade the wall. Uh, this might be a temporary base. I'm thinking once we get established here, get our health up a little bit, get some looting in, might move to uh, Dursville. Weather's a little better. Plants will grow better. I don't mind the snow, not in the least little bit. So satisfying. I love the rock animation. I don't know why I checked that. It said empty. Come on, act like you've played before. I heard ya. I don't know where it is, though. I heard him. Alright. So. Uh, if we're not going to stay here, I'm not going to dig into the side of the mountain, then. That's a pretty big... I might... We. This might be a good place to have for, for the traders. Traders up the road. Be good to be able to come here with the mini bikes once we get them. Have a safe place to have loot and stuff like that to sell to the traders. We could use all this as our crafting and bring our main loot back to where we're going to set up. We empty these. that sound. This is cooking absolutely nothing. That's so helpful. Take the frames. We got some brass. We'll cook some brass off. We already got the cooking grill. We did a bunch of forged iron last night. Yeah, we got 14 still, so we're all right there. Where did that land? Ooh, we have one arrow. Two arrows. One on and one on the side. So, I think arrowheads. Fifty? We can make fifty. Sit here and so a little trick with seven days. When you're crafting, whether it be inside, you see it just popped up on the screen. When you're crafting, whether it be inside your inventory or the workbench or the forge, cement mixer, whatever, if you sit on the screen like I am right now, you collect points, experience points for it, and you can upgrade your right now I believe this is weapon upgrading. So when I make my bow, it will actually be stronger than 85, and I only got 26 seconds left. In that short period of time, you can get quite a bit on your on your weapon skills. Little pro tip for you guys. There's another one. There. We'll keep the clubs. The pistol can go inside. We need the wood. You empty out a little bit here. A 
lump of coal. We'll put here as backup. There. Alright, how are we looking? We got two clubs on us. We'll put one in our inventory. Move the wrench. So we should just now need feathers. Do we have any more? There. Okay. Pro tip. If you can't find it on your column on the left, triangle over your item. You see recipe, scrap, or drop. You can just use your recipes, and it will automatically bring it up to your available recipes. When crafting on hand, you don't have to sit in your inventory. You can walk around. It's only when you craft in your cement mixtures and other outside items that you sit in it to gain the experience. There we go. Find a hatch. Or not. Or not find a hatch. That's that's fine too. We can just not find one as well. That's acceptable. Check these. Oh, fantastic. Such beautiful things can be found inside of a tree stump. I'm not sure who hid the the white t-shirt or the blue shirt inside of it, but whoever did, thank you. I mean, I guess I could I would have chose a different hiding spot, but that works. And the area we are in is dark green, so we do get snow in this area. Eventually we will move to uh uh, what is the light green area, and they don't get any snow over there. There we go. Oh. Right next to this here stump. Thank you. Or, thank you for nothing. I wish every game you could climb a hill like you can in this one. Like, look how steep this is. And he's just going up it. Yeah. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. I know it looks blank, but that's just the render distance. I promise there's, there's stuff out there. We'll go get this little package here. We're hoping for a mini bike for dummies. This way we can get ourselves moved to a different area, safely travel around the map. There's a bird's nest. We won't check them all, but it's good to check and keep our feather supply up. I did just use a lot on uh, making all these arrows here. There's the smoke. What time is it? Well, looks like there's still some time left in the day. Depending on what's in there, we might be able to sell some stuff. Trader Joe. One of the grumpiest traders I ever did meet. Ooh. So we already know that schematic. The dog challenge. So we'll save that. One of the fellow YouTubers that I play with. Shout out, uh, Heavy Hitter. Um, I don't know if he has the schematic yet, and it shows that I've known it, so I will set it aside and save it for him. Get down this mountain safely. Ooh. Ah. Well, we got a little tree stump action going on. Love tree stumps. You can find a lot of things inside of tree stumps. You really can. Oh, you, Mr. Rabbit, if I was better with this bow. Ooh, 
I'm so gonna at least... Are you still there? Oh, you're gone? Okay. I was gonna try it. Definitely was. Oh, of course, man. Of course. I'm sorry you're not feeling good today, bud. Oh, look at this. Zombie action coming right up on me. Didn't even see him. There. Little barehanded action for you. Oh, I hear it. Is it walking up on me? I hear it. Trying to pour my child a glass of milk. One-handed play in this. You, you wait right there, young lady. There. Okay. Get this all done for him. Beautiful. Look at that. She waited so pleasantly. Okay. I'm gonna put that back now, bud. Oh, oh, oh! You tried, but it did not work. Ooh. Wow. Extremely OP. Barehanded is extremely OP. Look at that. I might have to start barehanding these zombies, man. <laughs> yeah, she thought. Oh, he's a distance away. Yeah, he fell. No, nope, too high. Too low. Oh, let's find a happy medium with this. Yeah. Never claimed to be a bowman, bud. <laughs> Let's get right on top of him. All right. Oh, we got him again. Running right by the trader's house. Hey, Joe, you want to come out and help with this thing, bud? Okay? Look at me. I'm using a stick here with some string. No, you're just going to sit inside? That's fine, Joe. That's fine. Man. Hey, bud, do you want to slow down? Okay? You're a deer. I am a human. I've only got so much stamina. Are you done? There we go. All right, apparently we were still dealing with the milk thing. Oh, get him, zombie. Do the work for me. I feel like I'm going to go through 50 shots trying to get this deer. Oh, I got him again. Look at that. Now we gotta go up there and get him. Okay, Mr. Zombie, I'm coming to ya. It is a very fun game. It really is. And it's an open world, so people can join in and out. It's not closed. Wow, this, it really is OP using your fist. No, barehanded. 
That's an actual skill. Bare hand is a skill. Yeah. I believe that's always been a thing. They haven't updated this game in forever. Oh. Luckily we have splints on us. That could have went really bad. So, this is the game uh, that taught me, personally, as the gamer I am, to always carry a splint on me, whenever a game offers a splint. Um, breaking legs is, is something I do quite often. My legs, that is. Thank you, Heavy. It is, it is a good game, especially when you have people you can play with that know the game, that help make that beginning transition a little bit easier, because it's a... There's a lot to it. You When you open your menu up, I mean, there's lists, pages upon pages of stuff you can make, craft, build. You see my inventory is packed full of stuff. Packed. And unless you know what it's all for, it could be junk. You know, you're, oh, this is junk. We don't need it. Or, you know, and in this game, you need everything. Everything you find, everything you pick up. Um, all the dirt off the ground, even. Uh, you, you need dirt off the ground. It's, it's really that in-depth of a game. And, um, Heavy's actually gotten the ability to see some of the other worlds that I have done and things like that. The size and magnitude, um, and the scale in which these things can get built. They're... They're, they're massive, and I know the graphics aren't the greatest. I mean, it's an old game and, and stuff, but the physics engine to it is amazing. What you can do is is beyond, like the tool aspect. Um, uh, so both a hammer and an axe will, will do the, the same thing. You can repair with an axe. You see how long it took? A couple of shots there. Or you can repair with a hammer which is one shot. So the tool that you're using also, you know, say, whack, one shot, will help with your with uh, your upgrading and what you're using. So we'll drop down here. Oh, I didn't even see this guy. <laughs> and I can't get back up, of course. Loves to build, yeah. Yeah, like I said, Heavy's had, uh, had the pleasure of seeing it. Alright, I've got to go all the way back around. Oh my god. I can't believe I fell off that. Nah, we don't need to go around. Hold on. So I'll show you the, the difference with the hammer and the, the axe here. Alright, so yeah, they both do the same thing. So when you hit it with the, the axe, two, three, four, see how many shots it takes to upgrade. With your hammer, though, we'll get this grass out the way. Uh, the hammer's only one. Only one shot. Another item that can be used to upgrade is a wrench. And the wrench is a little faster than the axe, so it's only two shots. So your tool also helps with what you're doing, depending on. Cars, you only want to scrap with a wrench. It'll show you the actual animation for it, because if you hit it with another item, the car will explode, big hole in the ground, half the building will friggin' disappear. It's crazy. Like, it's, it, they're, they're huge. I'll, one of these days I will blow a car up to show, but not, not, not here, not, not here. I just totally missed the door and ran into the wall. I was trying to read the comments. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. So, that was one of our Blocks for destroyed from last night. Ooh, jeez, buddy, you all right? Yeah, good. That's that's always good. All right, I gotta get the schematic put away. This one's empty. We'll put it up there. Flashlights, couple extra of those. Extra of them's all. Ooh, look, I didn't even see that. I got some short shorts. There, oh, 
I don't know. I do like having my Farmer John overalls, though. Hmm. You know, I'm going to save the short shorts for warmer weather. I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I'll wait for Dursville. I'll put shorts on in Dursville. Some boots. Them's made for walking. All right, brother. Well, try to have a good night. All right. Yeah, the ver yeah, the new version should be coming out on the S5. Um if you have the purchase version for the PlayStation 4, there is supposed to be a discount for it for the PlayStation 5 version. They're not going to they're trying not to have everyone repay for the game twice. Even though it is going to be considered an entirely new game. Pull some black iron out. Yeah, I, I thought so too. Um, my my wife actually is part of the Seven Days Online uh, community, so she keeps track of it and uh, posts in there and stuff like that. Yeah, dude, I I was talking to Heavy about it the other day, and I was actually uh, like almost schoolgirl uh, giddy, dude. Like I was so excited, man. Um, this is a game that I have long since waited to be updated and and re or re whatever you know they call that. I'm not a, a technical term guy, but I just they need to they need to fix it. They need to give us what PC has. Um, and it, if if I had what PC could do, man, it, it this game I I don't think I would leave it. You know I'd live here almost, unless I was cotton out with you guys or or black sailings was heavy. I think, you know, I'd be in seven days building and creating a world and... Because you, I believe the, um, PlayStation 5 version, you're going to be able to have 16 people in a world rather than just four. So you'll actually be able to build a community, um, of people that, you know, it's not just four dudes inside of a town. You know, you can have, you know, towns, communities, trade with your fellow players and things like that. And I think that's really where this one missed the mark, was you couldn't do much with other players. I mean, like I said, besides you and three of your friends, there wasn't much else. There. So fast with that. Alright. Time is at 21. We got a little bit of time before nightfall. These didn't do ab these did absolutely no good throughout the night. Yeah, let's hit the ground and not the the thingy. That's fine. Oh, this was your first PS4 game was seven days. That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. My uh uh my my first PS4 game was the the free game, uh, Let It Die. You know, I played that for, for quite a while. Such a weird game. Honestly, such a weird game. I think I got this... I think this was, like, my third or fourth game. And me and my brother-in-law played it for... It, it, yeah, good first game. But yeah, I think me and my brother-in-law played this game for about four years straight. I forgot what I was doing. Oh, I remember. Hold on. Yep. I need stones. Of course, I don't have stones. Yeah, and, and Let It Die is, like, so big now. When I first played it, you couldn't get past the sewers. They told you about an upgrade. Or an, an update coming. And then years later, I jumped on it again, and I think I've told you this, Heavy. Like, they gave me... It was like a th hundreds of like free stuff, like traffic cone hats and all sorts of this crazy stuff. There we go. Twenty two. Yes, sir. And then... 
quick stone axe. Much better. Oh. built now. Do two of them. I don't think we're going to need the bow. We definitely don't need the hoe. Alright, so these hatches can be placed um, either way, whether they be open forward or open closed. It doesn't really change um, how they work. Alright. I'm going to let my son wander around for a moment, I guess. He wants to wants to play. Um, yeah, like I said, it's an open world. Anyone can join. Uh, this is not normally a hostile game either. You do have, once in a while, um, some trollers that'll go through, just like any game. But for the most part, when someone jumps into you know a game like Seven Days with this in-depth of survival... You don't normally get griefers and, and things like that that come through. Yeah, both analogs, analog sticks do stuff, bud. This one, too. It'll look around. Look. See? You can look around. Ah, uh, dude, I have no one. Don't have plus. Oh, PlayStation Plus? Oh. Um, I don't know if you can search up worlds. I don't think you can. I think it randomly, randomly spawns in one there when you, like, try to join. Mm. I know you're spinning in circles, bud, but... I mean, the, the, the view in the night sky, look at that. Absolutely, absolutely amazing. <coughs> you know, not many games have such, you know, uh, work done. You know, graphics or whatever they call that. You know, just to the night sky. It's, it's normally pretty plain. Some little twinkly stars and stuff. But you can really look up and see the world change throughout the day and the night and things like that. All right, let me see you, buddy. I got a little bit of walkings to do. There we go. Zombies will come out at night, and they're, they're runners. How did you get outside? Did you jump? Oh, the back door. Smart. I guess I wasn't even paying attention to what you were doing. So. A too high wall normally is tall enough to keep out most Zettos. Um, the spider zombies can crawl right right over top of them. I think this one we'll put this way. This way, yeah, they're held up out here rather than funneled in. Yeah. So yeah, like I said, it doesn't matter which way um, you put these. It, all it is is, uh, you know, uh, how you want them to funnel in. So on this side here, I want them in the doorway. On this side here, I would just prefer them to be, you know, on the on the outside. So if they break any blocks here, I can still hit them and and stuff. They're not they're not all going to be pushed into the one. Take some of this out here. Oh, we need a better pick. This is going to take a while. Make a lot of sound. The 
the zombies in this game, the hearing, oh, is something to, something to worry about. Upgrade a little on the front here. There. So, Heavy and I did make it through our, our first night horde. We died a little bit. You can see my health um, is down to 70. Um, that's to be expected. The, the hordes on here are um, no joke. They're definitely not. We'll take that for now. This is our little room. This is where we, we reside, you know. Um, we were going to go, you know, head to feet or, or, or feet to head or whatnot. But we, we figured as long as we weren't looking each other's in the eyes, we, we could both sleep pretty good there. Oh, I could have put his schematic in there. I didn't even think about it. Get some of this. How's my food? <laughs> yeah, I can't find it either, but I think I passed it. I did. I found it right here. Look, I did. I found it. See? There's my food. I went right past it. Yeah, so, oop. We're going to keep open and closing that for no reason. And then, what do we, um, you know what? I do believe we have eggs. So... Let's make some bacon and eggs. How can we make? All f I don't have the required fuel. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. And now, you can see where it says 52 seconds. It always has that little extra. So we always try to make sure that we give it 10 seconds over what it asks for. There. This way you're not burning off any extra wood you don't need to. Oh, definitely, uh, loot comfy, but it, the one thing this game isn't shy on is loot. It, it, all over the place. Like, uh, like I was saying before, though, it, it's, oh, I didn't even tell it to cook. I only said turn on, wasted that wood. Talking about no waste, and we're wasting anyways. Um, so, you want to pick up everything, you know, even if it seems like it's nothing. Uh, what's another one of these things? Let's see if we have one here. These right here. So for the longest time, I didn't know what these candy tins were for. I would just put them in my forge and smelt them to iron. It was absolutely, you know, to me, I thought they were just useless. So it got to the point where I wasn't picking them up. Uh, watched a video and someone had crafted it into a bomb. So I checked, uh, on here and sure as crap, I was uh, wasting these candy tins, burning them in my forge when I could make a landmines out of them to defend my base with. So e everything is usable. Just figuring out, I guess, what to use it for. There. Thank you, guys. I do appreciate it. Uh, I try to be as uh, helpful, too, uh, during the lives and things like that uh, when it comes to learning with, with the game. The, like I said, there's so much to it, and I spent years when it came out playing it, trying to learn it myself. And there's still little things that, um, I guess, surprise me uh, with it. Yeah, they, they are. They are quite helpful, especially... Um, if you can't get an area, where are they? The little pokey sticks. Oh, I know you're hungry, man. We got bacon and eggs coming upstairs. We do. They're around here. These things, the wooden spikes. Areas that are hard to get the wooden spikes in. The landmines work great. They don't put holes in the ground. They will mow the lawn for you, but you're not, you don't have to worry about holes everywhere that you got to go back and fill in and... There we go. Four bacon and eggs. So, so why, how long you been uh, playing seven days?
Oh, we uh, definitely need a stronger pick. I think we already went through that. On and off, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I took a break from it for a while. I got real disappointed. The fact that we didn't get an update. We were offered, not offered, we were uh, informed of so many different updates that were supposed to be coming. And and then, you know, they just didn't come. They, they didn't. And I definitely took a break myself for a while. Um, and now that the, you know, it's confirmed that the game is coming out to the next-gen platform, um, I felt like, you know, getting back into it a little bit, even on this old version of it, you know, it just, it just, you know, it struck me again. So, let's see, we can make, what can we make for, max is 85, so I think what we'll do is we'll just make 70 of them, leave a little bit in there. There, we don't need the points for that miscellaneous crafting can be done on hand all right so we'll go through the Ooh. all right so in this screen you see um upper right hand corner points available is 40 i haven't spent any of them um with your skill tree anything that goes from zero to a hundred you don't want to put points on those are things that you're going to naturally upgrade throughout the game just by doing stuff, whether it be, um, you know, making armor, walking around, um, archery, anything like that. You're going to naturally upgrade these. Ooh, there's a, there's a lot of action going on. I hear them. Let's see. Do we get ourselves all shut in here? Oh, here we go. Oh, this is... There we go. No. Stand up. There we go. We'll get back to the skill tree in just a moment. Was it 457? You'll stop running pretty soon. <laughs> Are you gonna just keep jumping in the ground like that, or...? There we go. Any chance you can come after me now? That's better. This is the Naz Navaz game. So the PlayStation doesn't allow seeds. It's a random gen. And it's always got a center setting. The the Navaz game just uh, keeps the size down a little bit. It's a bit of a smaller map. So you don't have to travel, to, you know, 20 minutes on foot to get to uh, the traders or a anything like that. And sometimes the center cities aren't the greatest. They're in um, uh, bad biomes. So for the for the episodes of the live, I thought it would be uh, visually better to build in the, um, I guess the actual world biomes, not the destroyed city biome. So this is the Navez random gen, or not random gen, Navez um, gameplay. Oh, them boots is made for walking. Well, well, we saw uh, survived the night. going to have your my what you got for me
So do you have to name it with numbers? Or how does how does that work? Oh, I heard you, lady. Don't destroy your own own wall here. Last couple of shots. That is absolutely amazing. So I will definitely give that a try. Thank you for that. See? As long as I've played this game, there's still things that can amaze me. Ooh, this is a nice little horde here already. Let's, uh... Maybe eat a little bit of food. There we go. Hey, hey, our health went up. Go. Oh, oh, oh! We're out of stamina! We'll just wait. Mo there we go. Oh! Seems we've got contracted a, a sickness too there oh can't see through that tree oh that is a deep deep growl is that you on the ground mister come on Oh, man. Whoo. All right, all right. You guys take a break. When you are uh, when you think you're ready for more, let me know, and, and we'll try again. All right, I don't want to overdo it with you. You look tired. There. Oh, okay, since you guys are just... Aimlessly jumping where I think we're just gonna go around for a minute. No, you just you just keep doing whatever you're doing Excuse me ma'am Mostly deserts nice keep an eye out for your uh your aloe vera man Aloe vera, yucca, corn, all of that, all of that. I've already found a couple pieces of corn here. I got lucky and spawned in the desert myself. And I was able to pick up some corn. So once the garden area is in, we'll, we'll have food. Okay, we gotta hit... Uh, get some health here.
Western, yeah, it does too. Oh. Oh, we're we might die. Hold on. I didn't even notice that I was caught. Look at that. Yep. Absolute bleed out feature. If you don't bandage up, you will die. But luckily, our bed is right upstairs. And it allows us a respawn bag. I think we'll stick with the cowboy boots. Oh, that's sad. All my friends are gone now. Oh, we missed out on some good loot. They are a, a pain, but... Rip is another one. Nice. Alright, these look good. Actually, I gotta see what I need to craft a workbench. Wrong way. Alright. Oh, mechanical parts, so... Yeah, the uh, those are we we can go shopping for those. Um, gotta get rid of some of this stuff on me. bacon and eggs on us. We have 11 water, some tools, backup weapons. We were putting cash somewhere, I don't remember where. We're still a little bit shoveled. So there we go, I'll just do it like that. The beginning stages are always so uh, blah with everything. There's so much. You know, you gotta get done, you gotta you gotta get organized. We, I mean, this is where um, the one of the gardens is gonna go. It's gonna be a pretty big, pretty big garden. Like I said, we might not stay here. We might move over to uh, Dursville in the next couple episodes. Get ourselves set up here and use that as a storage um, for our traders, so we can put stuff there and then sell at the traders, and so we don't have to lug stuff from um, city to trader. We can spend the night there safely. I can't wait to get a mini bike. Um, you're. PlayStation ID, right? Um, how does... I, I'm a little bit new to this. I do know how to obviously, uh, send a friend request. Um. Do I... Do I... Let me get up here. So I'm not trying to, like... There we go. What do I do with that? Is that something we, uh, you can... DM me through YouTube? I don't know, that, yeah, that sounds like that's a dumb question. I guess that works. Hold on. There we go. Um, Alright, yeah. Yeah, after my, uh... 
after my live, I will uh, send you a friend request, and if you want, I'll uh, get you in here to get things checked out. I'll maybe get you on one of the lives or whatnot, see what you think. How does that sound? Oh yeah, of, of, of course, man, of course, you know. Always good to have followers. I'm glad you're enjoying the live. I'm glad you like the game too. Uh, I, I believe this was a very, I, I think underrated for, for what it is and what you can do. I think it was an extremely underrated game. I don't think a lot of people gave it, you know, a really fair chance. They, they, they looked at it with the graphics um, and they were like, oh, this is just a, uh, you know, bad graphic game and whatnot, and they just kind of passed it by. What do we got? 70 health? Eh, we might be able to take a small fight. Um, Probably make a new club, see if we can make one stronger than what we have been. Yeah, 115. So these can go. These clubs are are no good no more. What do we need for the bow? Plant fiber. Of course you guys heard me getting plant fiber. Why wouldn't you hear me getting plant fiber? Oops, wrong one. There we go. Right, 115. Oh, look at that zombie floating up in the sky up there. That's fantastic. Oh, and what a time for that thing to show up. Oh yeah, definitely. I honestly I would suggest uh when doing the PlayStation Plus just do the the one time yearly uh, subscription thing. I know that's hard for, you know, a lot of people, you know, and things like that. But it definitely Yeah, it's it's worth it. It really is worth the the one time. That that's what my wife and I do because you know, we got bills and kids and things like that. You know, every, we can't afford every month um, you know, even if it's like $20, we don't know if we can afford just $20 a month for the subscription. So we do it once a year, one chunk, get it done with it, and then we don't have to worry about it. What did I hit? Okay. There we go. Stunned a little bit. No. Of course we're bleeding. Not what I want. No, I need to find a couch. Yeah. That's all right. Comes with it. It's part of the game. This is why it's not made for the the meek. Want to watch, but I want to play. <laughs> yeah, I. I, uh, I get it, man. I, I really do. I really do. Yeah. I was ori I was originally going to try to get to a building to get to uh, a couch. But I know the cars sometimes will give you what you need. But. 
Yeah, it it wasn't cloth in my inventory. It was leather. I thought I had scrapped a cloth couch down. I had scrapped a leather couch down. Oh, uh, does that have something to do with not having PlayStation Plus? Like I said, I don't, I don't, I don't know 100% how all that works. Okay, well, we're gonna try to, uh, dodge zombies from the other side of the house real quick. My son's pointing at something, so let's try to go in circles, see what we can do. Okay. Of course, honey. I know I'm going backwards. Here, you use that. Try to keep me alive. And I'll do my dad thing. Ah, keep my kids alive. There. There. All right. That's for the daughter. And that is for you, my son. At the table with it, bud. There. There you go. That was awesome. All right. Let's try to get back up here and not die. That could be. Ha ha! <laughs> now we run really fast and get inside of a house. It could be. I'll look into it. See if uh, see if I have issues finding it as well. That's what we uh we were trying to get to before. go. One second, ma'am. One second, ma'am. Let me get my club out. Where'd you go? Alright, you went that way. Oh, and we got a band-aid. That, that would have came in handy one death ago. Definitely a lot of them out there. Yeah, here's another one. A oh, nice black hoodie. Oh.
Sorry, bud. There you go. Oh, there's someone right there. Uh, have a good night, bud. Oh, yeah. I'm so glad you made yourself known. Oh, dude, yeah, they're everywhere, bud. Oh, leather duster. <laughs> it got it right at the end. Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, wow, they're just everywhere over there. Yeah, I do have the no symbol, don't I? confused he is. And we got infected again. Alright. So I'm going to have to get back to the house, take more antibiotics. We're hoping to find a mining helmet so we don't have to uh, use our flashlight or anything like that anymore. So we'll be able to um, just turn our light on and off and see it in the dark here. Empty jars, always good. You can never have enough empty jars. Oh, we need that now. So we'll just use that. I'm not going to miss one arrowhead. I need that medical kit more than the arrowhead. Ooh, there we go. Now, these houses sometimes... Let's see if there's one in this one. Might not be. No. So... Some of these houses, they'll have, uh, like, little hidden things you can actually find underneath the floor. So you gotta, like, look down and see if it has a plate or something covering the floor. That's the way to do it, yeah. They actually, um, another shout-out, I guess, uh, to my friend Heavy Hitter. I do the same thing when we're, like, playing games and stuff and he's streaming. I'll play and I'll put my, my phone up next to my TV so I can watch his live and things like that. So I'll put a link in the description to his YouTube as well, so you can uh, go over and check out some other videos and stuff like that. Because we actually, we play games together. So there's other videos and things like that that we do. It's not just seven days. Uh, uh, we do uh, Grand Theft Auto, um, Heavy also streams Black Sails, things like that. Some other really good games. Oh, look at this. Now this is a find. This is a find. Blueberries? I have to scrap some. I'd, I'd, sorry, Mr. Goggles. Let's see, do I know these yet? No, so I gotta read these.
Look at all these blueberries. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, another, another pro tip, when you're harvesting uh, plants, just hold triangle down. You don't got to go through and tap triangle on every one of them. You just hold it down, and you can run right through it. Boom, look at that, all gone. Little lag there, because I'm harvesting so fast. I see ya. No, don't, don't walk in my blueberry. Come on, guys. Don't walk in my blueberries. That's... You guys have dirty-ass feet and stuff. You got shit dripping out your mouth. Nobody wants to eat that after you've been walking on it. We ain't making no wine here. Oh, that's a steel arrowhead. And another lock. Ah, oh, I really want that arrowhead. It's only one, though. It's only one. No. No. Don't do it. Don't get distracted by one. We're full. Why are we still searching? It's just because we can. Alright. Let's make our way back. We're, we're full, so just keep going. Blueberries are okay to eat. It's when you find snowberries, so you got to watch for that. They look just like blueberries, but you try to eat a snowberry, you'll get super sick. They're for the cold weather. They help you, um, uh, not the cold weather. Is it cold weather? Oh, it's been so long now, I feel like I'm second-guessing myself. Either way. It's for an environment, one of the environments. You make snowberry juice, <coughs> and you drink it, and it protects you against the weather. I forget right off the top of my head which one it's for. It is the cold weather. Okay, yeah, I did. Oh. Snow, yes, snow. Oh, that's another that's another really good find right there. Hay bales. So if you know seven days, you know how, how important a set of hay bales can be. You can drop from any height, and as long as you land on a hay bale, you're perfectly fine. So if you're building a mine, a mine shaft or anything like that, and you need to get from top to bottom really quick, put a hay bale down and you can just drop down onto onto the hay bale. got the antibiotic. I don't hear nothing. There's a candle in there. I really like candles. Oh, here, here. I think, yep, this is one of those floors. These, so if you look, you can see the bag underneath the floor. Now, if you don't have the tool to be able to break through that, I do, but there, I'm going to show you. You can actually look at the bag without having to go inside of it. So we'll scrap that, take that. Well, we got two cotton. Anything else we can scrap down. We can make a better bow. That'll give us brass. Yeah. Take that club. There we go. Is this another one? No, you see the difference between the two, how this one has the actual flooring underneath it. In this one you can see it has the little gap. So that's that's a little thing you want to look out for with some of these houses if they have stuff hidden underneath them. And you don't have to break the plate. You can just grab it. There's no no need to break the plate. Uh, 20. Oh. We are getting close to the time zombies start running. I was hoping to get back to the house, but we might end up outside. We're real close to this. We don't have a lot of stuff to scrap down. 
Uh, we're gonna have to make some room. Sorry. There we go. We're gonna have to. We gotta remember to to make a splint when we get back. I hear you growling over there. Definitely worth everything I just scrapped out. Do I still got room? No, of course I don't. Oh, I got room for some cotton. This stuff is actually handy. All right, all right, we'll stop running. We'll stop running. Calm it down. You don't need to just breathe heavy. There you go. Oh, little chicken there, yeah. Yeah, I, I told your friend chicken, if I was better with the bow, I'd probably sling one at you. Though. I don't even have a bow, so I can't even do that. You're you're twice lucky. Oh, stamina's back. We can start running again. Yeah, you hear all the ch, -ch, -ch That's that triangle. That's, that's the power of the triangle, just holding it down as you run past your items. It's harder to do with, like, rocks and stuff, because you got to, like, look directly down. Ah, oh, why do you do this to me, Tree Stump? Why do you give me such nice things? Um... I really like that barbed club, but you might have to... It's only level 65. Yep. Yep. And now... Oh, come on, what else? Oh, I don't want to get rid of that window pane. I might have to, though. I'm not sick, so the antibiotic's no good. I don't want to tear apart the black... Yeah, I'll do the cowboy boots. What are the level I'm wearing? 219? Yeah, those can go. All right, all right. It was a hard sell, but we took it. We took it. Oh, and we're definitely gonna... Mark this area here on the map. So these little tents right here, I'll I'll smack one, and I'll show you. I'll just put a quick waypoint on it. You can get cloth from, and you know cloth is you know needed, you know bandages, things like that. No, don't check the tree stump. You gotta you're gonna keep scrapping stuff, and you want things to get home, and oh. Loot everywhere, man. This is definitely um, a, a loot loot populated game. I said, and, and everything can be used. And I'm I'm the person. If it ain't bolted down, I want to pick it up. Random name, random seed gen. So if it, it works off of seed, why can't you uh, give it like a like a real city's name? Would it would it uh? You know, if you put, like, Amsterdam in, would it give you a seed gen based around Amsterdam, or is it just, like, letter-based? Whatever letters are in what spot, almost like numbers. Yeah, you can also make the, the awning things. So I made uh, 10 bandages. They only sack in... You just put a name in and it generates a world. And if you put in the name... Same if it put... Okay. Alright, um... That... I named this one uh, Down to Clown, personally. Um, it will continue that world. At least I think that's how it works.
Oh, if it's C-Gen, then yeah. If, if, if the name is C-Gen, it would be the same every time. That, um... If it wasn't C Gen, then obviously it would it would change. Uh, I'll put the level 90 in there. So So a good name for a world. Well, I mean we've already said Amsterdam, but I believe that's water, and on this game you water's okay, but you need a lot of it. Is, is that like a meme party hat? Does that mean party hat? That's a good name, party hat. Yeah, I'm not above a wearing a party hat, man. I look good in a party hat. I mean, yeah, it would... If it's random seed gen, I mean... I guess you could really experiment with names and stuff like that. See if uh, actual names gave you better world versus, uh, uh, oh, confetti shooter. Oh, okay, okay. I'm, I gotta, like, really look into that. Yeah, they are little confetti poppers. All right. some of this in the the health thing oh yeah yeah heavy I forgot that you had uh, made a bunch of bandages the other day I guess I could have just pulled some from there close poppers oh party poppers yo that's a name bud party poppers yeah I mean, it's the end of the world. I mean, how more of exciting of a town or a world could you live in? You know, zombies all aware, all around you, and and you guys call yourself party poppers. Hey, there's some of our cash. Put that in there. That's food. Cam of sham. A little sham cam there. Alright. So... These things, I'm just trying to save them here. You can either smelt them down, or you can actually put them in your windows. There we go. And then once I've, you know, once we fill this in, um, there there won't be any snow down here, and we'll actually be able to get these fireplaces to throw some heat back here. Because with it open, the game won't register that there's any heat back here. You have to be real, real close to it. Yeah, see what it gives you. If it doesn't give you something you like, um, you can always try to put the name in again, like you said, to see if it is going to random gen it the same. And I don't know. It almost, uh, I might almost uh, take some time and, and try A, B, C, D and really, really see if we can random gen some worlds with simple letters. That, that'd be neat, see what kind of worlds we could create, kind of cities we could get. Because in the random gen, sometimes the cities are huge, other times they're real small, super easy to get around them.
finish these off real quick so we can turn it off. There. Alright, so we're at four mechanic parts. Four out of twenty. <laughs> Confetti shooters, yeah, I know, bud. I thought they were party hats, you know what I mean? I, I really did. There. Alright, all right, alright. So what day is it? Day seven? Alright, we've got four more days till the horde. There. But I think uh I think that's gonna be it for the live today, honestly. Um got a little bit of done. Got some just got some more material in. Got some more stuff here. But yeah, um Yeah, I, I think we didn't get as much done as we wanted to. There there's a I think we got hit by a few hordes and things like that. Our adventure kind of took us a little farther than we had planned, but that that's the game, you know. There, so let me get over here on my bed. All right, all right, guys. Well, I, thank you, everybody, for watching. I do appreciate it. You know, appreciate the support, things like that. I'll throw some, uh, some links to some other YouTubers down in the comments. You know, shout out to Rip. He just joined in uh, the chat there. Sorry, bud. Um, I don't mean to cut it short right when you join, but, you know... Now I got some things I want to do, some other games I want to stream, things like that. But we'll talk to everyone later. Thank you for watching.